This is what happens when you focus too much on filming and not a lot on what you're actually doing. <laughs> Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. I've just woken up to a very gloomy day here on the Gold Coast. It has been raining for what feels like a week straight right now uh, and I think we're coming to the tail end of it but when it is raining and gloomy like this and I'm spending my time inside I just love making really delicious comfort food. So whilst I am still starting my day with an iced cacao, I have some really fun ideas of what I'm going to make for today's what I eat in a day video. And anyway, I hope you've all been keeping very well at the moment. I am going to finish my iced cacao, get myself ready for the day because I have literally just rolled out of bed this morning and then we'll get into what I'm gonna have for breakfast. So lately, Kara and I have been really enjoying going and getting these vegan toasted sandwiches from a local cafe. And this morning I decided I would try and recreate one at home because they are genuinely like the best toasted sandwiches ever. They are so good. So for breakfast this morning, I'm going to make a toasted sandwich. I've got some sourdough as well as vegan cheese, some cherry tomatoes, some vegan pesto. If you live in Australia, by the way, this vegan pesto you can get from Woolworths and it is really, really good. And then you may be able to see that I have roasted some pumpkin this morning. So that is gonna be my toasty. I'm really excited. Oh, I'm also going to add some spinach onto it as well. So it should be really delicious and hearty and filling and nourishing and all of that good stuff. I'm going to fail as miserably as I possibly can at making this toasty. Also, I definitely need to buy a sandwich press. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness me. Okay, so despite the fact that I A, burnt this toasty and B, got it all over my stovetop when I failed miserably at flipping it, it tastes absolutely incredible. And if you haven't had a toasty in like the past month or so, I highly encourage you to make one for breakfast today or tomorrow. Hello, Tiggy. Hi. Okay, so I want to take a moment to thank my friends at Native for working with me on today's video because as you may know, I have been using and loving Native's deodorants for well over a year now. They are so incredible and something else that I love about them so much is that they have made their deodorant formula available in a plastic free option. So it is the exact same formula that they have used for their deodorant, but now it comes in these plastic free options, which I love so much. This is made from paperboard and what's really awesome is that so far native have sold over half a million units of plastic free products which means that they have saved 48,000 pounds of plastic from being manufactured so if you're looking for a deodorant that is plastic free highly recommend it's actually earth month as well for april uh, so if you're looking to make any changes for earth month and then to keep those changes going uh, this is definitely a great place to start i highly recommend and honestly these products last for so long I have had these three for I'm gonna say like eight or nine months so far and I am nowhere near finished with 
any of them. So one of the main things I love about these deodorants is that they are vegan and cruelty free. They're also aluminium, sulfate and paraben free and they're made with super familiar ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil. As well as that they are not sticky and they dry super super quickly. So I wear these when I am exercising, I wear them when I am working from home all day and yeah they work fabulously. So the three scents that I have at the moment are citrus and herbal musk as well as lavender and rose and coconut and vanilla. My favorite at the moment is citrus and herbal musk. I am a sucker for citrus and something that smells really fresh. The lavender and rose is super subtle and fresh as well and the coconut and vanilla I love when I'm feeling something nice and creamy and simple. There's also two new scents which are lilac and white tea and tangerine and citrus blossom so if you're looking to try out something new and fresh highly recommend. So three of Natives plastic free deodorant are usually 39 US dollars but if you use my link and my code which is ducks6 you will get 25% off and that brings it down to 29 US dollars for the three. There's also free shipping in the US and I will leave on the screen the places that native ships to. Anyway it is still raining so much outside and although Easter has passed I am so in the mood to make some hot crust buns. Easter was so busy this year and I didn't have the time to make any but today I'm in the mood and more importantly I'm in the mood to make choc chip hot cross buns so let's do that. <laughs> I'm so excited in this moment because I just pulled my chocolate hot crust buns out of the oven. My whole apartment smells so divine right now. These hot crust buns look so cute and so yum. And I'm so excited to have one fresh out of the oven. Okay, look at how cute this hot crust bun is. I don't know if it's weird to describe your food as cute, but I do it all the time. Little bit of vegan butter on. Okay, the moment of truth. Do the hot cross buns taste as good as they smell? I am overwhelmed in the best way possible because these taste so good and just like so nostalgic. By the way, I did not come up with this recipe. I followed a recipe that I found online, so I will link it down below just in case you want to make some at home. Okay, so if you've been around my YouTube channel for quite a while, you may remember that a few really oh i didn't know that yeah you may remember that a few years ago i used to be obsessed with making lentil bolognese it's one of the first meals that i learned how to make when i first went vegan and it was a staple for many many years but i honestly haven't eaten it in months and today when i was thinking about what i wanted to have for lunch the first thing and pretty much the only thing that came to mind was lentil bolognese. So this is my big bowl of deliciousness that I am having for lunch today. I have the bolognese pasta sauce as well as pasta and some crispy kale. So the way that I make the bolognese pasta sauce is I first of all rinse some brown lentils and then I put them into a bowl and I mash them up with my hands so that they get more of a bolognese kind of texture. After that I put the lentils into a pot with some olive oil oil, spring onion, garlic and chili flakes. I heat it up for a bit then I add in some tinned diced tomatoes. I also add in some herbs and spices as well as salt and pepper and nutritional yeast and then I mix that all together um, until it's like nice and thick and well combined pretty much. It's honestly really easy and you could definitely add things that you like like herbs and spices that you like into it. I like to keep it pretty simple and then when I go to serve it I like to serve it with pasta. The pasta that I have been using at the moment is a chickpea pasta. It is really really delicious. If you live in Australia I definitely recommend trying it out and then as well as that I made some crispy kale to go with the pasta and the lentil bolognese sauce as well. To make crispy kale by the way because I get a lot of questions about this whenever I make it. All I do is I wash some kale and I shred it into 
quite small pieces and then from there I put it into a pan with some olive oil as well as nutritional yeast and salt and I toss it and fry it up for like 10 minutes ish and then it's really really delicious anyway so yeah this is gonna be my lunch today I'm so excited to dive into this bowl of yum basically and then today is Wednesday and on Wednesdays I have dinner with three of my best friends a lot of the time we have home-cooked food but tonight we're going to get takeaway Away, and I think we're gonna get burritos for dinner which is very exciting I feel very lucky and grateful that in Australia there are a lot of vegan options pretty much everywhere that you go so wherever we decide to go for burritos tonight I should definitely be able to get something delicious hey Tiggy ah. yeah ah. I know <laughs> Anyway, if I don't get the chance to talk to you tonight, thank you for being here and for watching today's video. I hope you continue to enjoy the rest of it. And yeah, I hope you're having a really beautiful day. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Ooh.